good blessed uh, Saturday night, May the 28th, 2022. It's about 8.32 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest or the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. I greet all you all with that same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. You don't have to like me or dis, uh, whether, I, whether you like me or dislike anything that I say or do. I don't uh, speak uh, on social internet to get likes and dislikes. All I try to do is awaken those who may be asleep. Uh, but first, I want to thank God for uh, allowing me to be able to go on my mission this past Thursday, May the 26th, 2022 on the trip to St. Louis, Missouri, uh, taking an elder neighbor of mine and then praying for that elder neighbor of mine and uh, a friend of mine that live in Sykeston, Missouri, and the other one uh, live in uh, Cape Garada, Missouri, both of them from Charleston, Missouri, whose son happened to be in the hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, I thank God for allowing me to pray for my two bishop friends in St. Louis, Missouri. And I want to thank uh, my bishop uh, friend uh, that I've been knowing since I've been down here, both of the bishops. Uh, met them here in Charleston, Missouri some years ago. God sent them on mission to different suburbs of St. Louis. But my brother, man, and friend, uh, Jermaine, Bishop Jermaine Carter, I thank him for the hospitality, him and his wife. You know, I, I, I thank them for, you know, making me just as comfortable as I would, as I would be at home. You know, when God send you somewhere, he make a way. Uh, some people may say that uh, you was right there in St. Louis and you didn't visit me. But when God sent me on that mission, God sent me there on a mission uh, to take care of some business and wanted me to sit still and he gave me the destination to sit still on. When God give you instructions, no matter if man disagree or man question why you then come here or there, uh, man don't give you your directions if you an ambassador of Jesus Christ like I am. Uh, God give me my directions and he gave me some good directions. I was comfortable. Uh, I was successful on my uh, mission. Uh, we made it back yesterday about 2.36 uh, p.m. Uh, on Friday the 27th. And I thank God that everything went all right. I thank God that it's been peaceful here in Charleston, Missouri so far for this Memorial Day weekend in uh, May of 2022. I pray that it continue that. I pray that it continue that all around the world. And uh, something else that I want to tell the people. Some people may say, well, this last video you made, you was praying that the black stop. Yeah, I want to pray that the black stop black on black. But if anybody know, I want violence to stop everywhere. But I live in the black community. I am black. And there's not a lot of leaders out here. There's a not a lot of civil rights organizations out here that's really uh, is standing up on trying to stop the violence in the black community. Most of, 90% uh, of them that claim they are like the head of the NAACP, not in they, in not, not all NAACP members and, and presidents, but the head NAACP president, Derek uh, Johnson, that's in uh, uh, Washington or Baltimore, wherever he at now, I know he's not for it. You see, Biden, President Biden and his wife, Jill, they took time to fly Air Force One uh, to uh, Buffalo, New York, in, uh, in uh, honor and respect of the uh, 
uh, people that got killed uh, in Buffalo. You see what I'm saying? He, they, they, they took the time out to go there. You see, but the president of the NAACP, he go where money sent him. Now, all of a sudden, he's speaking up about uh, the shooting in the school and uh, uh, the shooting in Buffalo, New York, because uh, some of the other presidents and NAACP members speaking up about it. But if you look at my YouTube videos, you will know Derek Johnson don't care about uh, the the uh, anything happening to black folks when it comes to civil rights uh, uh, violations, unless it's publicized. That's the same with the president of the NAACP in, in Carbondale, Illinois, as well as their uh, Illinois State Conference president. That's the same here in uh, Charleston, Missouri, in the state of Missouri. Uh, Cause my son, like I said, it's been 400 and some days. And uh, I have people that's in the legal field and the medical field that's coming aboard to help me prove that my son did not hang himself when I can't get none of these civil rights uh, organiz organizations to do it. They said they don't have the volunteers for it. They don't have the time for it, but they have time to uh, speak up about some of these rappers who the feds have indicted for the RICO Act. You see what I'm saying? They have time to speak up about that. You see what I'm saying? But but that's their prerogative. All I can say is to, to the people that depends on the NAACP and some of these other leaders like Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Benjamin Crump, believe in God. And God will make a way. While I was in St. Louis, People was preparing when I got back uh, yesterday. People was preparing to let me know that they are here to help me prove that my son didn't commit suicide. And I want to thank them. And as far as my son family, uh, well, I, I ain't gonna even I ain't gonna even go there because I know my family on my side. I know y'all has been there with me. You see what I'm saying? And I thank y'all. I thank some of the other people that's not my family and friends. I thank y'all. But what y'all got to do, y'all, especially black people and people that's trying to stop violence all over. Stop depending on and, and fearing. Stop fearing some of these people in the streets. If you scared uh, to tell the police who you is when you see them out here shooting around by your house, call the nominees. You know, I know in Carbondale, Illinois, and in in, in uh, Charleston, Missouri, if you call their police station, they gonna tell the criminals uh, who you are and what you're saying because they are part of it. But I'm gonna leave like this here, y'all. Uh, to fear God is the beginning of wisdom. I have plenty of wisdom. I'm not gonna let the NAACP lack of helping me and my uh, two young daughters and my oldest daughter and my grandchildren to get justice for my son. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to let nobody else uh, put fear in me to tell me to stop making my YouTube videos. And y'all know how I've been attacked. And stop listening to some of these preachers, y'all. Have you noticed here in Charles, Missouri, how family members leaving their own uh, relatives that's preaching, they leaving their churches. These people that I done told y'all about for the last 26 years, all you got to do is pay attention. Everything that I'm saying is coming to pass. If I'm wrong about something, tell me I'm wrong about it and show me why I'm wrong about it and I'll correct it. But I know everybody that I've been talking about so far, it came to pass, y'all. Peace be still.